Thank you everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today it's a very exciting day for me. I'm going to be unpacking this, the Napoleon Prestige 500. But we're going to be unpacking it. Stay with me. So we'll go through the motion. Today I'm going to be saying goodbye to my charboiled barbecue that I've had for seven years. It's been good to me. It cost me um, 400 bucks. Okay, so I know you guys are wondering which model it is. It's the P500 RSI BPK-3. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? So that's all I can tell you. Um, yeah, so let's see how heavy this thing is. I didn't put it in. I had where I purchased it. I put it in the vehicle. So. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's gonna need two people to unload it. Let's see. What is this? I think there's something inside there is. Mm. Good weight to them. I'm gonna give that to my wife, she can put it away. This is the rotisserie motor. It is. You guys can take a look at that. So it's the electric motor. Napoleon heavy duty says, ooh, steady. There it is there. You guys, also a good weight to them. Not cheap by any means. Food grade forks. This really requires two people. Oh, okay. Ooh, there's the there's the meat and potatoes. So the plan is this, huh? we're going to assemble where, I guess the base, and then the sides of the barbecue, and then I'm pretty sure this whole bad boy, me and my wife will try to pick that up and put it in place. Let's see what this is. This is quite heavy, probably put this at about... Oh, 35 to 40 pounds. Let's see what it is. Well, ah, the wheels. Burner, jet fire, maintenance kit. They even give you that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I actually made that up myself, this whole thing. For my old burner. I didn't even know such thing existed. Wow. Real master recipe. I don't need that. You're already the grill master. I'm the grill master already. I go by look. Taste actually, not taste. First I go by smell, then by look. Alright. What do we got here? A lot of goodies. Maybe we should unpack these. Oh, there are this. I think Napoleon shipped that out. I'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure that catches the grease. And to give you one is, yeah, that's seriously, guys. Could I at least give them five, maybe a pack of ten. I don't know for the amount that people spend a barbecue. But, anyways, that's just my opinion. I really want to get to what's at the bottom because I get a I get a good feeling I know what it is, yes. Okay, this is where all the weight comes from. This is where you make your food. Stainless 
steel. Food grade stainless steel. Wow. Very impressive. I don't know the proper terminology, but you guys know what they are. They go on top of each row of uh, burners to protect them from, I guess, oil drips. Okay, the first thing we gotta do is we have to build the stand where the actual barbecue, the top sits on. So we're gonna start by building the base. They go together so well, I might not even need a mallet. There we go, two pieces. So far, no mallet required. Next is this piece here, where the barbecue tank sits into this might be a little tricky I'm not sure let's see This thing snaps together really good. Sorry, well, okay. This piece goes. Certain things that'll tell you. Don't button everything up first. Put it loose. It wasn't a lot easier. Jobs, ladies and gentlemen so bottom piece need a little bit of work not much these things are designed pretty good they're pretty well up to spec and how they're cut how they're manufactured but it still requires two people otherwise you will be out of spec when you go put one side in and not the other all right so there's the base next step Okay, now we're gonna install the bolts. Uh, on the panels we installed, they are 
size 3 8 3 8 magnetic driver there we go Next, we're gonna install the wheels. Now that I have turned uh, this cabinetry that I've made. Next, we're gonna insert the plastic insert for the wheels, and we're gonna need a mallet. Oh, there's arrows on here. See these arrows? They line up with that notch. the size of them they're pretty heavy duty and they all have locks on them swivel they lock they're plastic but they're good quality plastic they're not your cheap made overseas plastic they'll break easily they'll still probably break but not as easy as easy and they have a guarantee on them Now we're going to insert the grease catcher. Now you've probably seen this guy before. That's the guy that I was complaining about. Why give us one? It's just made out of the stuff you used to cook with. There's the hard one. So this, this gets reused. But this sits like that to catch the grease. So we're going to install it. And let's see. That's the back, there's the front. Here we go, one. So we'll go like that. Put this guy in. Grease catch. There's this plastic insert for your propane tank. Now we're going to insert the support, it goes from the back panel to this bottom one. It has a hole on one end and a tongue on the other one. I guess it makes it even worse. Sturdy. Done. Next, we're going to put these two bottom brackets in, and they have a left and a right. Now, left will go in this corner, and the way you'll know that is if you face it, this will be your left side, that's your right side. So then we take this guy. Okay, there it goes. Here we are. Now have the bolts ready so we can hand tighten it. So then we'll
my kids. <laughs> that little one. brackets now the way these brackets go is quite simple just like that okay next step now we're going to install the longer 3 8 bolts they go on the inside as well just don't tighten them loose okay next we're going to put the handles on the doors and I'm going to use my impact driver up quicker plastic cool looking Still plastic. Now we're gonna put these little dowels in. You're gonna need a mallet for that. There it is there. It's about an inch long. Two of them. Two per door. Yes, they're gonna bottom out at some point. There. Yes. Two of these little grommets, they're hard plastic. There you go. At the bottom here. One on this side. One on this side. Okay, next the door goes in here. The bottom dowel. Push into the bottom grommet. The top one. It's a little bit of convincing. Oops. Next.
They're my doors. Next, I'm gonna put these uh, latches. They're magnetic. They just catch the door. There's one that goes on top. Here. And one. Next, we're going to be tightening the doors. We're going to make sure they're level and they have an even gap in the center. The only adjustment that you guys can do is on top. So, we'll get it adjusted. Yeah, see my finger? Support the right adjustment. Okay, so this whole assembly required two people. Right from here to here, it's all one piece. Okay, everything is one piece. It, it needed me and my wife to carry it and just drop it in place. Okay, so that's, we didn't do any of this stuff. This stuff was like this in the box, just picked it up, put it in. There's a couple of bolts we gotta tighten and that's it for this section. Okay, so this is the power box right here. And this is what's going to give us our ignition. Look, Napoleon even gives you batteries. Well, I hope so for the price they charge for the barbecue, but this is a good barbecue. There you go. There's energizer batteries. What was the industrial energizer? So that's excellent. And what happens is D batteries. You open this guy up. And look at that. Okay. And this is a magnet. So we'll plug this in underneath. Here. Perfect. Okay, so there is the uh, uh, Napoleon 500 series. And it's in place. It's got four stainless steel burners. But what makes this thing really a good unit is that the tub here, it's one piece. There's no welds here, it's all one piece. Um, it's got an oil catch down here, that's stainless steel. Um, that was pretty thin metal, so that is yet to be seen how long it will last. But the change is quite easy. And these guys, that's to protect the burners they are heavy duty and thick really good stuff so we're installing those the way they have it is um, one lower than the other and staggered like that so I think it has to do with heat distribution nonetheless good stuff okay so I really wanted you guys to see this these are the grills and uh, they're stainless steel and they're thick I wanted you guys to take a look at that, see how good it looks before I start cooking. And this is patent to uh, Napoleon, the wave. It's supposed to stop smaller food from dropping in. We'll see. We'll start um, 
I'm gonna have to start a cook on this because it's getting late. So we'll uh, we'll do a cook and then I'll put the sides on. Yeah. My uh, Napoleon grill. It's running, working the way it's supposed to. And the waves are supposed to prevent smaller things from falling through. It looks like so far it's working. Overall, good stuff. And cheers.